My father was an amateur painter, so we always had um, art around the house by him and by other artists. I grew up next to Lake Bidet Makaska, so I'm very familiar with swimming in a lake or a river. We used to go up to the St. Croix River. I went on to study at Berkeley and got a master's there in painting and printmaking. And then eventually I wound up in New York. I uh, got a job at Universal Limited Art Editions, which published fine art prints. Um, they had a studio on Long Island. They published such artists as Jasper Johns and Robert Rauschenberg. I assisted the printer there, and uh, I used to pick up Jasper at the train and make salads for the artists at lunch. So that was a marvelous experience. It was that first uh, experience at the university, I think, when I fell in love with etching. And um, I've been doing etching ever since. Eventually, I did return to Minneapolis, and um, I also took workshops up north on the North Shore and in Grand Marais. I went to the, the uh, Grand Marais Art Colony and um, I did that every summer for many years. I'm inspired by the places we've been to uh, over the years and so Lake Superior has become another huge inspiration and eventually went up to the North Shore and took trips in the Boundary Waters. Um, the Boundary Waters have been part of my life um, for many decades, and there's just nothing like the experience of being there in that watery realm, um, which is so placid and uh, beautiful. And also, we've been going to Scotland, to the Western Isles, and um, staying on an island there. Also, there are many gardens in Scotland, and which inspired um, some of my early work, um, doing water plants and other plants in these wonderful gardens that we visited. Intaglio printmaking is different from the other media because it uses grooves and, and textures below the surface of the copper. Um, most of the other printmaking um, uses the entire surface, such as screen printing. That's like a stencil process um, where you push ink through a screen onto the paper and uh, the print is flat completely when it's finished. And then also relief printing, um, your, you, that would be woodcuts or lino cuts. I often turn to my own photographs for inspiration to decide on an image for a print. The intaglio process involves creating textures and grooves in a copper plate or another metal plate that will hold ink. Once you have your plate, cover it with a, an acid resisting liquid which hardens, we call it hard ground. And then when you scratch through that covering, you are exposing the copper in the lines and and when you put that in an acid bath, it'll interact with the copper and create a groove there where your line was. And that will hold ink in the printing process. Then to print that plate, you uh, apply the, the ink all over the plate with a scraping tool. And then you remove all the excess ink to get all of the unwanted ink off the plate, leaving leaving it in the grooves of your original design. We run it in one of these presses. I like this big press behind me. And we run it um, through the press under a layer of blankets. And then you lay your paper on top of the plate and then put the blankets over it and run them through this roller. And that will push the ink um, lift the ink out of the grooves and, and, and uh, 
adhere it to the paper, and when you turn it over, there is your design.